A stereographic projection is a perspective projection of the sphere through a specific point on the sphere onto a plane. Put it simple, the stereographic projection is a way of picturing the sphere as the plane with some inevitable compromises. It is used in diverse fields including complex analysis, cartography, geology, photography and in so many other things. Let's say we have a unit sphere with a set of points x, y and z such that x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 1. Let n be equal to 0, 0, 1 which is the north pole of our unit sphere. M can be considered as the rest of the sphere. And let also add the complex plane of 0 as the z coordinate which is our equatorial plane. Now, for any point P on M, there is a unique line through the North Pole and at P, and this line intersects with our equatorial plane in exactly one point, P prime, known as the stereographic projection of P onto the plane. We can actually try to find the formula of the stereographic projection by ourselves. We are given the point P prime is equal to x, y, and 0, and n is equal to 0, 0, and 1. We want to find the point P. So, I guess the first thing to do is to find this line, right? Since we know that this is the equation of joining two lines, we can also write it like this. This formula is commonly known as the two-point form. We can replace with our north pole coordinate 0, 0 and 1 as x2, y2 and z2 and just set it equal to some constant lambda. With this, we have our line np prime. To get now the intersecting point of this with our sphere, we are going to use our unit sphere equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equal to 1. If lambda is equal to zero, that means it is the north pole. And so yeah, there is our formula. We can also get some sort of inverse of this formula to get our way back. There is going to be some small changes to this formula, depending on where you decide to put your complex plane. Now that we have our formula, we can try to implement this in Pygame. First, let's add some 3D rotation matrices and also add a function to generate a 3D sphere. And let's also make two functions for a stereographic projection formula and its inverse. I also added some transition between the sphere and the project plane using some simple lab function. And uh, that pretty much it, we only need to apply our stereographic projection to a sphere. As always, the GitHub link gonna be in the description of this video. To support this channel, just make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and like the video. Thanks again for watching the video.